Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Our team is all healed up after exploring the SSN and getting a lot of battles done, and now we have learned the cut move, and we should be good to take on the little gym leader that I didn't even know was here. Yo, jam in the making! Beyond this point is a Vermilion City gym, but you'll need to chop that tree down first. But I think you and your Pikachu will have no trouble slicing through. Come on, give it a shot, I would love to. So let's go ahead and it seems this tree can be chopped down. Do you want to use the secret technique chopped down? Yes, I do. hi yeah! Wow, that was cool, I like it. <laughs> All right, so we chopped it down. Good work, you chopped down the troublesome tree and opened a way to the gym. And that means you can challenge the gym now. I'll be waiting for you there. How cool is that? So I don't know what gym leader this is gonna be, the type, we have already dealt with a water type. Vermilion City Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge. The Lightning Lieutenant. Oh my, so this might be a bit of an interesting experience for sure. I still don't really know what the best course is for our team against Lightning, but I guess we'll just try to survive probably with Pikachu and Fred. Or I mean, Eve and Fred. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. All right. Hey, what's up? I've been waiting for you, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge here is the gym leader in the city. He's an expert on electric type Pokemon and is a real tough guy. Flying and water type Pokemon don't do well matched up against electric types. You'll also want to watch out, watch out so your Pokemon don't get stuck paralyzed. And here's my last tip. Lieutenant Surge is a cautious type. He puts barriers between himself and the rest of this room, so it won't be easy getting to him. That's for sure. But I mean, we're gonna be taking on all the trainers anyways. Do you have any other tips? Okay, no, he does not. Okay, so of course, no water or flying type moves being, or Pokemon being used here because it wouldn't be very effective, but we can, I think we got a, it's a red trash can, like interact with things to get that that thing down, I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is no place for kids, not even if you're good at Pokemon. We'll have to see about that. We can take you down no problem, can't we? So are you going to have electric type even though you're a sailor, you're Sailor Dwayne? Sailor Magnemite. Okay, but Magnemite is pretty easy for us to take down because we do have Eve who will be able to do the fighting double kick. That'll be great. So let's fight and we'll do double kick. Eve use double kick. Come on, boom. And another one. Not bad. It's super effective in two times. Oh, we were able to dodge it because of our shout. That's such a weird thing. But hey, if it works, it works. Eve use double kick. So of course we're sort of fighting fire with fire, I guess in this circumstance, electric electricity with electric, I can't pronounce that. Electricity with electricity, because you know that's what we're doing with Eve against all these people. Tonka Girl level 18, how wonderful. And we beat Seller Dwayne. Wow, you surprised me. $1,000 for that one. So he only had one Pokemon, so that was pretty easy. Let me give you a hint for the double barriers. After you push the first switch, you need to push the second switch right after. The two switches are adjacent to each other. Oh, really, do all these trash cans have like, different things? There's only trash here. Let me just take out all the trainers first. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Oh, really? So what kind of uh, Pokemon do you have? What kind of electric type Pokemon? It's Rocker Bailey. All right, Rocker Bailey, you sent up Voltorb, which should just, just be electric type. So it might be good just to do double kicks for now, or I could switch over to Mew if I wanted to. Mew wouldn't really that be that bad. You use double kick, boom. Maybe whenever we defeat this Pokemon, we'll switch over. I wonder if Zippy Sap, oh my gosh, not self-destruct. I hate this move. Okay, that was actually not that big of a deal. <laughs> that didn't hurt too badly. I don't know why you did that. Okay, so Voltorb again. I'm going to go ahead and switch Pokemon and switch over to Delilly and see how that works out. Switch. Come on back, Eve. Eve's about to level up, though. Come on, Lily, I know you can do it. I mean, that is, can you do it before Voltorb explodes for no real reason? I don't know. We'll find out, ready? Swift. Opposing Voltorb, use Swift. Oh, wait, 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 you use Swift? No, I was supposed to use Swift. Get out of here. Okay, ours is much more damaging. So do you even have any electric type moves? You're weird. Oh, we can do attack it twice for some reason. Oh, now you, this is so bizarre. Why did I get to go two times in a row? Maybe you'll go, okay, now you're, this is such a weird battle. I mean, as long as they're not self-destructing. There we go, that should get you. And it does the opposing Voltorb fainted. We did pretty good. 
Okay, so 144 experience. Does Eve level up? She does not. Fried. Oh well. Well, we only got one more to take down, and it is this gentleman over this way. Let's try it out. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a, was a hard taskmaster. Wowee. So we're gonna take you down and then we'll check out all the trash cans to get to Lieutenant Surge. You were challenged by Gentleman Tucker. Gentleman Tucker sent out Pikachu. Oh yeah? We should be able to handle this no problem. It's Pikachu versus Pikachu. And we will just try doing double kick or something. I don't know. I mean, other than that, we could do, let's try Zippy Zap. Let's see how much progress this really makes. Come on. Boom. It was still half the health, so that's pretty nice. A critical hit, even though, oh wow, and we were able to dodge quick attack as well. So let's fight, and we will do double kick. And I think this may be enough. Oh, you're doing quick attack again? That stinks. Kick. Oh, come on. Yes, we got you. See you, Pikachu. Hit two times. And will we get a level up? I think we will level 26. Very nice. Good job, Eve. Ooh, got some good stats there. We're a CP of over 600 L. And Kobe grew to level 17, awesome. Stop, you're very good. 2,640 for winning that one. Awesome stuff. Are you having trouble reaching Lieutenant Surge? Why don't you check a trash can next to the blue trash can? Okay. Have we talked to you? Okay, I'll talk. I heard there isn't any switch cans next to the red can. Oh, there's only trash here. So there should be, huh, there's a switch into the trash? Let's push it. Oh, that's one of them. So let's try to find the other one. Apparently it's gonna be adjacent to this one. Oh, there it is, okay, cool. <laughs> awesome, so we figured it out. And that means we can just head over to Lieutenant Surge. And hopefully everything will turn out okay with that. Hey, buddy, how are you? Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Well, you look at that, a pint-sized challenger. <laughs> You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war, I'll show you, civilian. Oh, no. I'll shock you into surrender. We'll have to see about that. Just because you're big and strong doesn't mean your Pokemon are too. Because it's a reflection on your personality, not your muscles. Gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. He sent out Voltorb. Just please don't do more self-destructing stuff. Okay, so we'll give this a shot just doing Zippy Zap. I think it'll be fine. I mean, we only have one level advantage over him. Come on, Zippy Zap! We'll see how this ends up working out. Oh, it was decent damage. It's not very effective, but it's still good damage. So you're using light screen now, which will make this less effective, but it's still very good to use, just because that guaranteed critical really makes it better than most things. Come on. Because we're sort of brute forcing our way through this one. We don't really have too many type advantages over electric, so really the best thing we can do is just hope this will work out. Hoping he has at least like one Magnemite, we'll do one more zippy zap against you, and it should be enough to take you down. Come on. Yeah, nice. So there's Voltorb gone. What do we got next? 164 experience. Magnemite, awesome. So we are going to keep with what we have for now. And then if I need to, I'll switch over to Kobe. But it's a pretty high level, so I'd like to do double kick. Ready, just yeah, try this out. And that's pretty gosh darn good already. Super effective, hit two times. You're gonna use Thunderbolt, which is not gonna be very effective at all. Ooh, but almost taking me out. A critical hit. It looks like I might cry. No, don't cry. Instead, double kick. Double kick, come on, this should be enough to take out the Magnemite. Yeah, okay, awesome. So what do we have next? Your final Pokemon, right? It's super effective. 162 experience, your party Pokemon and waiting also got experience. Light screen wore off, that's fine. Raichu, ooh, the evolution of Pikachu. Let's switch Pokemon. And maybe I'll just work with Lily? Might be our best bet for now. Let's switch over. Come back, Eve. And you know, if things look nasty, I can try to heal. But yeah, this has been the toughest gym yet just because of how our team is orchestrated. We just really don't have any kind of good defense against many electric types. We can just sort of work with it. Raichu looks so cool, though. Let's go ahead and just do Swift. We are two levels under this Raichu, but we should be okay, I would hope. Oh boy, ooh, that hurts. We just gotta keep doing Swift for now. And then after this, maybe I can throw out Fred. 
That might be good. Come on, not bad, not bad. This is a tough battle for sure. Come on, or maybe I could get Pikachu out and just do like one last zippy zap to finish him off. Because our Pikachu matches that Raichu in level. Not enough to take us out, right? Oh, unless it was like a crazy critical. It might cry. I really don't want you to cry. Okay, so I could either hit you with one last thing or I can spend this healing Eve. So I think that I'll go ahead and fight. No, 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 not fight. Go to our bag, get a super potion, and use it on Eve. I'm so sorry, I would love to use this on you, Lily, but I, I just can't. I gotta make sure that we can do this. Come on, come on. I know it's gonna take you out, isn't it? I'm so sorry, Lily. It just had to happen. Okay, so, wait, I can't switch to a fainted Pokemon. We gotta switch over to Eve, and we're just gonna zippy zap you, and we should be able to attack first because of that. And hopefully that'll be enough just to take down the rest of your health. It will be a critical, so that would be good. Zippy zap, and come on, come on, zippity zap it! Boom! Oh, still not enough. So you're just gonna use Thunderbolt though, which obviously won't damage us too much at all. Okay, now's our chance, now's our chance. Just do double kick. We could do zippy zap again, but I think double kick will be just as good. Boom, and there it is, we only need one kick. Awesome stuff, so we've defeated Lieutenant Surge. That's his name, right? I think it is. 442 experience, unfortunately Lily didn't get experience because she got taken out. Friday we're to level 21 now. We beat defeat the gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. $4,000 for winning that one, that is awesome. And we'll have to make sure we check out the shop after this. He is mad. <laughs> no, he's happy. Fine, then take the, the Thunder Badge. All right, we did it. Another gym leader defeated. You got a Thunder Badge from Lieutenant Surge. And that's not all. You're a special kid, take this. Oh, his autograph, okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna use that for. No, don't worry, that's not all I'm giving you. Got TM36 Thunderbolt from Lieutenant Surge. You put that in our TM case. TM36 contains an electrifying Thunderbolt, which we already have for Pikachu. Teach it to an Electro-type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Pretty cool. What else do you have to say? And a little word of advice, kid. Electro-type Poke or Electro-type moves are su sure powerful, but remember that they'll get sucked right up by ground-type Pokemon. Those moves are useless against them. All right. So what does Pikachu have to say about that? Yay! <laughs> She's happy. Eve must must be in a great mood. He gave you a high five. Oh, secret techniques. Okay, that's what this is. Chop down. Seems that it can't be used here. Okay, gotcha. Well, good job, Eve. We did great in our little sailor costumes. I think we'll switch back now, but it's been pretty fun in the sailor costume. And yeah, I am super glad to say that we defeated our third gym leader. Meaning there's only like, what, four more left or something? I don't really know. We'll find out sooner or later. But for right now, I'm going to just sort of clear out all of our gear, if I can, and then do the same thing for our trainer. Just sort of get ourselves back to default. Okay, so we're all good to go to get out of here. I'll go ahead and talk to this guy again. Whew, that match was electric. I was, it was so blinding, I'm still seeing stars. Well, thank you, what a great compliment. So there we go, there is another gym leader defeated, and I think that means we're good to move to Lavender Town, if I believe so. Oh, hey, there's Misty. It seems this tree can be chopped down. Do you wanna use the secret technique? Of course I do, Pikachu. <laughs> so cool. So hi, Misty, how are you? Oh, it's you again. Whew, wow, so you beat Lieutenant Surge? You must be pretty good. Glad to see you're really learning a thing or two. And your Pokemon must have tried their best. Indeed they did. Misty healed your Pokemon for you. Oh, thank you. That's good for Lily. Oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I could show you the way if you, if you want a guide. Yeah, sure. Great, let's go. So I just sort of want to see what will happen. She'll just lead us over this way. I think we've already been here before. We've always poked our heads in real fast. We call it a Diglett. This is Diglett's cave. Diglett dug out of this cave path all on their own. Okay, see ya. Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon. Thank you. You're the best. So before we go into there, I do want to check the shop. We've already been healed up by Misty, which is great. But I do want to go ahead and check the shop to see if there's anything new. We can at least stock up on a couple things because I think it's about time we do that. We've been earning up a lot of money. We have $44,000 now. So let's go ahead and make sure we have a little bit of everything. We have 105 Pokeballs. I do want to get more Great Balls. If we could get like uh, 13 more to get us up to 30, that'd be great. That's pretty good. And then 
Oh, we got one more one premier ball as a bonus as well. I wanna make sure we have some good super potions, so if we could get six more so that we have a total of 15, that'd be good. We're gonna spend a lot of our money right here, which I think is well worth it because we get to use these items. So like antidotes, I wanna make sure I have like five each of these kind of things as much as I can because you never know when we might need an antidote or a paralyze heal or any of that kind of stuff. So just making sure that we have at least five of each one will probably be pretty effective. There we go. And then ice heal, make sure we have five of these. So we get like $500 per battle, you know? So like, you're spending $500, it's really not, not that big of a deal. Okay, got it. And then Paralyze Heal. Go ahead and sell a couple, they're not sell, buy a couple of these. 1,500, not that big of a deal. So we're at 44,000, we're still only at 31,000, so we're making some decent progress. A full heal can be helpful as well. Especially later on in the game when a potion just doesn't cut it anymore. We already have some revives. I need one escape rope. No, not two. Okay, sure, whatever. Sure, I'll use one sooner or later and I'll bounce it back out. Got repels. I do need two more repels. Even though like repels aren't that big of a deal, it's just good to have five of everything. You know, that's sort of my balance with everything. One, two, three. Super repels. Sounds good to me. And then lures. I'll get two more lures just because the lures did help before, I think. Finding some more rare Pokemon. And we found an Abra that way, which is pretty cool. So these X attacks, an item that sharply boosts the attack stat of the Pokemon during a battle, it wears off once the Pokemon is withdrawn. I don't know if these are really worth getting as much as the other things. I'm really looking for, you know, other stuff. So like X, the X items I'll leave for now. I'm curious about Dire Hit. An item that greatly raises the critical hit ratio of a Pokemon during a battle, it can be used only once and wears off its Pokemon Wears off if the Pokemon is withdrawn. I don't know if I need that. And there's Guard Spec, an item that prevents stat reduction among the trainer's party Pokemon for five turns after it is used in battle. Don't think I need those. So I'm gonna leave those be for now. No thank you. I mean, I could sell stuff. I always like to hold on to that for when I really, really need the money though. Which is not right now. So we should be good to go through Diglett's Cave. We'll probably catch a lot of Pokemon along the way, as much as I can. So that hopefully that works out. But yeah, let's go into it, Diglett's Cave. That's what it's called, right? Diglett's Cave. Well, I'll be, did you know that this, yeah, okay. We've already heard about that. Go back down this way. And there's a Diglett. We've already caught one Diglett, but I want to sort of catch a lot of Pokemon here just in case we need to. It always seems to be worth our while. And it gets us good experience too. Like it's, it's an easy way to get some experience. Probably should just be using normal Pokeballs. So after this, I'm gonna switch over. But hey, if we can catch one more Diglett. One for the road, I suppose. That's always good too. All right, you caught a Diglett. Okay, so some experience for everybody. It's not a massive amount, but you know, Lily will be able to get a level up out of it soon enough. And we'll probably get quite a huge chain of catching Diglets if we take long enough. Well, there's a tiny Diglett. So apparently this actually does some stuff in terms of its stats, you guys let me know. So if it's big, I think it's a, like it has a little bit of a higher defense, but if it has, if it's tiny, it has a little bit more evasiveness. So that's some good stuff to keep in mind. I think Diglett's gonna do his little headbutt soon. There it is. Okay, now, excellent. That's pretty good. And got it, awesome. So there's a Diglett caught. Our third Diglett, I think, in total. I mean, we can send some of these. That's something I have to do also, is send the Pokemon to Professor Oak, because apparently we get stuff for doing that. Let it go to level 25, and Charlotte, our Tonka grew to level 19, and Charlotte to level 23, awesome. I don't quite remember when they get the third evolutions, but I think it's in the higher 20s, lower 30s, something like that. We'll find out sooner or later. But for now, I'm gonna go this way and see how things are going. Not running into too many Pokemon to be, oh. Oh, there's a Diglett. I'm gonna catch as many Diglett as I can just because it's fun. It gets an easy experience. So like that guy gave 200 something experience for like the excellent throw and it was our first throw too. So like that helps. That was not an excellent, okay, a little bit of a bad timing, I guess. Come on. Caught anyways. I feel like the more you catch of one Pokemon, the easier they get to catch. Like even if you mess up the throw, it's usually pretty easy to get them. 64 experience, yeah, definitely not as much. Getting good throws is sort of quintessential to getting good experience. Okay, well there's another one down. And then going this way, anything new? Not looking like it. Hmm. Oh, here we go, here's another Diglett. We're gonna have so many of these guys. It's gonna be great, you encountered a wild Diglett. Wah, darn it, Diglett. <laughs> Should have expected that, that was sort of my fault. That was an excellent throw, awesome. Cause the Diglets are really tiny, so they have a very tiny circle. 
So that's sort of something you gotta work with. All right, you caught a Diglett. Okay, 113 for that one. We even got a little item. I don't know what it was. It was probably just a berry. Okay, cool. We can put that guy away. And let's keep moving. Hmm. Yeah, not too much going on in this cave. It's a little, a little lackluster. Okay, I, I'm starting get, getting tired of seeing Diglett, so. Yeah, really not the most eventful cave in the world. Oh, hello. I've heard that there's a tunnel even darker inside th than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. Really? Okay, we'll have to find it. All right, now where are we? I think we should be at Lavender Town, right? Route two for now. Diglett's Cave. So let me, I'm a little turned around. Where are we right now? Let's go to our bag and we'll bring out the map. Town map. Use this item. We're here. So that's Viridian Forest right up ahead. Gotcha. So we went from, wow, that's pretty crazy. We went from Vermilion City all the way up to here. Diglett's Cave, a tunnel dug by Diglett connecting Vermilion City to Pewter City, which is what it is. Okay, weird stuff right there. But I'm sure we're supposed to go somewhere important now. Oh, hello. Zebra, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no, it's a little too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting for inside to show you. Whenever you're ready, Zebra. Oh, and we also have a little tree to chop down here and then down in the other area as well. I don't know where this leads. I think that once we chop down a tree, it does come back if we leave like a room, unfortunately. Sort of just curious looking around, but you know what? Let's go ahead and see what he wants before we do too much more. Because I think the area to the left we've already been to, so it isn't really that big of a deal. So you came, then let's get down to brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique, technique light up. Oh really, we just learned a secret technique. Now let's, let me turn off the lights and there, nice and dark. Now if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you'll be able to sense your surroundings, no matter how dark it is. Whoa. See, it seems bright even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads, oh, whoops. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Hmm? Huh? It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead, Zebra. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique shop down? I see, Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. Yeah, Eve learned the secret technique light up. I don't know where we're gonna use that, but somewhere, for sure. Your Pikachu, it really is quite wonderful. Now, use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they are not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. How cool. Go ahead and talk to you as well. You can get through the rock tunnel if you use the secret technique light up. Do you know where the rock tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east of Cerulean City. I think we know what he's talking about. Maybe, can't read any of these books. So east of Cerulean City, go to our bag, open up the map again. Cerulean City is, that's Mountain Moon. This is Pewter City. This is Cerulean City. I might be aware, like yeah, I guess this way. Well that's where, no, that's not where the Snorlax is blocking. The Snorlax is blocking over this way. Huh, okay. We'll give that a shot for sure. For now, let's head south and see what's going on with all that. Because I think that's where we're supposed to be going right now. It gets a little confusing at this point in the game. Like where, oh hey, it's Lion. Oh, Zebra, did you learn how to use Lyda from Pro Professor Oak's assistant too? What? You didn't learn it, but Eve did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Zebra. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Yeah, let's go together. All right, we'll be there in no time, come on. Where are we going? I have no clue. Whoa, we're here in Cerulean City. So just ahead of here, uh, just head east here from Cerulean City, that's this direction, got it? Oh, I remember. Just keep going this way and you'll eventually hit this cave system called a rock tunnel. I hear it's pitch dark. If you use light up though, you don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around. Okay, so hopefully we didn't miss anything important by doing that, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. For right now, let's go ahead and chop down this tree with Pikachu. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Good job, Eve. So, oh, there's plenty of trainers around this way. Ooh, it's a Fero, right? Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to check that out. I gotta get over there. You have a Pokemon with you. You're my easy target. Excuse me? This won't be easy, lady. 
And we'll see what you do. You, you, you're a picnicker, right? So you should drop some great balls, which would be cool. Picnicker Alicia. So now Eevee. Oh boy. Isn't gonna turn out well for you, I gotta be honest. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. Take down this Eevee. We gotta catch a couple Eevee ourselves. Okay, let's try Zippy Zap just right away. Let's see if we can't take you out. Just like immediately, boom. I don't know if it'll be, yeah, not an immediate takedown, but pretty gosh darn good. We're gonna use Swift. Swift we're pretty familiar with. We don't need too much more experience until we are uh, level 27 with Eve, which is awesome. Eve used Double Kick. Nice, pretty, pretty good. So there is a critical hit in, and it's super effective, hit one time, and you fainted. You've got 136 experience, your Pokemon in waiting also got experience, Kobe grew to level 18, awesome. I don't know when Kobe's evolving, but it should be sooner or later. I'm gonna send out Gloom. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to switch Pokemon, I wanna switch over to Fred, who should be able to hit Gloom with some nice fire, because I think Gloom is grass poison, something like that, so this should work out pretty well. Eh. All right, Gloom. Let's see what you can do about all this. Got it. And Ember. Come on, come on. One hit takedown, maybe? Probably not, yeah, because we're the same level. We're gonna use Acid, which we can handle the Acid, you know, the Acid no problem, so that's fine. Our special defense fell. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Red used Ember. Ooh, so close, it's super effective. You're gonna use Absorb, really? Oh no, how much health do you have? It's not very effective, but enough to heal you a little bit. Not enough for you to be saved by my Ember, or from my Ember. So let's go ahead and take you down. So we're running into trainers that have more than one Pokemon a little bit more often now. It's a little bit refreshing, because you deal with these trainers that just have one Pokemon for the longest time. It just gets nicer when it's not like that. You're strong. And we get two Great Balls, awesome. So. Heading out from that, I think we gotta go south. The Firo is still there. The tunnel coming up is pitch black inside. You don't need to light up to get through there. Well, we we haven't. Oh, and there's a Nidoran as well. There's so many cool Pokemon over there I gotta check out. Dang. Anyways, we got ourselves a Super Potion. That's good as well. Can they hop down the heights over there? Oh, they can, I just missed out. I just flew away. I can't get back up there. Darn. Wahahaha, <laughs> great. I was bored, eh? What? You were, you, you were bored? Okay. I guess he's pleased because we're going to cure his boredom, gotcha. Hiker Jeremy. So now Onyx, okay, well, Pikachu's not really the best for this. We can try the double kick. It, it'll do something, so let's fight and double kick. I gotta pay more attention to what trainers we're going against, because, I mean, some of them, the type of trainer they are really does signify what kind of Pokemon they have. Usually hikers have the rock type or whatever you can find in the mountains. It's a rock and ground. And then of course, like a sailor is gonna have water type Pokemon. We just gotta sort of switch our team around depending on what trainers are coming up. Ooh, a critical hit almost taking you down. Oh gosh, they're digging. Oh no. You know, now might be a good time to switch Pokemon. Let's switch Pokemon real fast and like switch over to Kobe. I think that'll be good. Let's try it. Come on back, Eve, you did great out there. Your opponents, we get him, Kobe. Because Kobe should be at least pretty defensive against this. Oh, maybe not, maybe I got, okay, did I get that mixed up or no, it was just a critical hit. Come on, you gotta be able to attack first. So let's just do Karate Chop. No, why, okay, come on, I wanna attack. That's not fair, why, why can't I attack? That's so uncool. Okay, switch over Pokemon again. I guess I'll switch over to Lily. I mean, maybe I should be using Tonka. Yeah, Tonka should be good against rock type, right? Water's good against rock. Probably should've been doing that right away. I'm, I'm dingus. <laughs> All right, come on. So let's see how this works out. If it's a critical hit again, it's gonna stink, but didn't really do much. Okay, let's try it. Let's just use Bubble against Onyx and see what happens. Can you stop it? That is not fair. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna take the damage this time. Fight and bubble. Can you use dig? Please, not a critical. That is so uncool. Now we're getting you, though. You're going down. It's super effective. There we go. We got our team destroyed by that Onyx. That was so uncool. 247 experience. Eve is level 27. Awesome. Wants to learn the move agility. Let's see what agility is. I'm a little on the fence about that one. 
The user relaxes and lightens his body to become more faster. The sharply raises the, we don't really need that with Zippy Zap being so effective, so I think that we're just gonna leave it. Uh, no. Okay, so, we defeated Hiker Jeremy. Keep it coming, eh? Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Wow, that was actually tough. That was a real challenge right there. Okay, so now that we've done that, you sure had guts standing up to a hiker like me there, eh? I guess so. Any Pokeballs over this way? Not quite. I wanna get around so I can see those, uh, like that patch of grass for sure. And there's more stuff up this way. Stuff all over the place, really. Route nine, Cerulean City to the Rock Tunnel. Okay, so before we go any more to the right, I definitely wanna go to the left and just catch whatever Pokemon I can. You found an ether, awesome. Put it in our medicine pocket. Oh, here we go, Nidoran, Nidoran. I think this is the female kind, hard to tell. Oh, it looks like it. Or maybe not. No, no, it's Nidoran female. Okay, so we'll give this a shot. I'll try one time with our normal Pokeball. Oh, you jumped at the perfect time. Get ready. No, oh, you're, you're really moving right now. Now, dang it, well, what was that? There we go, that was a good throw. Took a couple of tries for sure, just to even land it on them once. Nice, okay, so we got ourselves an Nidoran. That'll be pretty cool. One more for the Pokedex for sure. All right, 92 experience for that one. Oh, that's gonna be a level up for Fred. Level 22, awesome. And as you can see, we get ourselves an Nidoran. A mild-mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight, but where its small horns secrete venom. Interesting, so that's a poison type. Because there's two different types of Nidoran, if you didn't know, Nidoran female and Nidoran male. And speaking of which, here's the male version. And they both just look completely different, even though they're technically the same Pokemon, which is weird. When you think about it compared to every other Pokemon, like some of the other Pokemon have visual differences based on their gender, but don't look completely different. Like our Pikachu is a female and has the little curved tail instead of the sharp edge. Okay, let's fight again. Uh, fight, get ready to throw. Yeah, an excellent throw right there. Come on, come on. Oh, you stinker. Might have to give you some food. Which, since I haven't been using it as much, you'd think I'd be building up on more of it, but no, I really haven't been finding very much food at all. So I probably should be keeping onto it even more. Cause I don't know if that even really helped. Uh, Yeah, there we go. So maybe it did help, we get a Nidoran male. Okay, so I didn't see much experience. 122, that's enough for Tonka to get a level up, the big 2-0, very cool. Once you learn the move Water Gun, well definitely you'll be learning it. We take a look, Water Gun, 40 power, 100 accuracy. This target is, the target is blasted with a forceful shot of water. How much damage is Bubble? The same, 4,100. So I think we'll just put that over Tackle. Got it. We don't need a normal type move for Tonka. All right, ta-da, Tonka forgot tackle and learned water gun. Awesome. So, we got ourselves Nidoran Mal. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Oh my, Sounds, the Nidorans are dangerous. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can't find that Fira. We'll probably have to take on this trainer or something. Go, my super bug Pokemon. It's weird as I clearly walked in front of him and he just didn't see me. It's weird. But hey, it doesn't really matter too much. You're challenged by bug catcher Connor. So Connor's sitting out Paris. I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know how ready I actually am. But I can at least just do Zippy Zap and be fine. I mean, I don't know if it's a ground type. I think it's just a bug type, like with no other extra thing about it. Which means fire would be good against it, right? It's not very effective, it's a critical hit. You slash, oh my. Ah, oh, we're fine. We should be able to do Zippy Zap one more time. Just take you out. I could switch Pokemon and go through all that, but I'd rather not. And, boom, not bad. It's not very effective, but it's effective enough to take you down. See you, Paris. You've got 107 experience. Oh, nice, okay, so Bug Catcher Connor's taken down my Bug Pokemon. 220 for winning, we got three Pokeballs, not bad. So, with that being done, I'll talk to you one more time. If you don't like bug Pokemon, you bug me. Wow, okay. So I could just catch more Nidorans. I do wanna go ahead and use Allure. I think that'd be fun. Use Allure around here. Let's see if we can't find that Fero one more time. That'd be cool. And we'll, we'll take on these guys as well. There was a, uh, this is normal bird Pokemon we've caught before. Oh, you're tough. 
But we got a great throw right off the bat that might be worthwhile. Come on. Ooh, darn it, not quite. So close, you almost got it. Yeah, it's level 20. Really high level Pokemon to just catch right off the bat. So we could get some good experience if we catch it. Ah, oh, you are tough. Might just have to start using like, oh, come on, great balls. Just like, dedicatedly. Oh, come on, oh, that was that still count. Okay, cool. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's not perfect like an excellent, but that's fine. So, how much experience? 98, that's okay. It is pretty fast experience compared to your average battle. So, you know, I do appreciate that. So there's another Nidoran caught. And uh, anybody else around besides these two? I really wanna see that Firo. Oh, Eradicate. And some more Eradita. Okay, I'm just gonna go for more Nidorans. So we know a Firo can pop up here and I would really like to take it on. Pretty sure that's what it's called, a Firo. Oh, excellent throw there. Come on, we got you. Yeah, nice first throw. That should be a lot of experience then. What level was that? I don't know. 343 experience. That was a level 40, or not 40, 23. Oh my gosh. We got a mighty candy there. Wow, a level up for both Charlotte and Kobe. Very, very awesome. We're doing really good with all of that. I'm super happy about it. Okay, so I really want to find that Fero if I can, just because it's another bird Pokemon I don't have to worry about evolving. Because I think this is the Spiro. Oh, running right into you. That was totally unintentional. How oh, you encountered a wild Nidoran. Okay, get ready. I know, you're chewing at me. That was not good. Gotta do a little bit better than that next time. Come on. Oh, yeah, you, you jumped out of that. I'm not really too surprised. Now. Excellent, not bad. Come on. Oh, really? Now. Yeah, that was another excellent throw. I'm starting to get how I'm supposed to use the Joy-Con to fly forward. But man, this Nidoran does not want to get caught. It's level 23 and it ran away. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep doing this until our lore runs out. If not, we'll give up and we'll try another time. Getting lots of Nidorans, lots of, uh, I mean, really just lots of Nidorans. I don't really want to deal with too many of them, to be honest with you. Come on now. Another Raticate. I'm not really getting too lucky here. I mean, lots of Pokemon are popping up. The lore works. Oh, no, no, that's uh, was that just? Whoa, no, wait, this is an evolution. Yeah, Nidorina. Very cool, so Nidoran evolves into Nidorina. You know, I probably have to use, whoa, whoa, not what I wanted. Let's go ahead, go into our bag, get the Master Ball, or Great Ball, I always get that mixed up. And then go into our bag again, throw a Raspberry. Got it. Okay, get ready. Now. Oh, really perfect timing from you. Dang it, well, what the heck was that? I thought, I thought I was getting a handle on this. We got a great throw. Finally. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, I really want to get you. I mean, you're level 23, which is gonna be a bit tough. Not a bad throw there. Usually the angled ones I never get properly. Yeah, there we go, so get a Nidorina. Because at this point, the Nidoran male will turn into Nidorino. 293 experience for that one as well. Lots of experience right now. Lily gets to level 26 for it. How excellent is that? We're making great progress right now. So Nidorina, when resting deep in its burrow, its barbs always retract. This is proof that it is relaxed. Oh, cool. All right, Nidorina, pretty cool. That was a nice find for sure. Whoa, whoa, hold on Radita. hold on Radicate. All right, one of them went away, another one popped up. There's another Nidorina. I'd rather catch something else though. Ah, oh, the Lord's effect ran off. I'll use another one, because now I'm having a good time with this. Finding Pokemon is really fun in this game, I gotta be honest. There's another Nidorina, but nothing else. Okay, I might have to go for the Nidorina just so I make the most of this lore. Don't run away from me. It's really good experience, though. Okay, whoa, that was dumb of me. Okay, try again. Now, oh, bad timing. I know you're gonna swat, and then I'm gonna throw. That was a nice, might be good enough. Come on, Nidorina, don't make this too difficult. Just give us a another couple hundred extra experience. What a shame. 
Now. No, what? That way? Not what I wanted. I know you're gonna SWAT in a moment. Come on, SWAT. Oh, you ran away. What a waste, what a waste. Should've just went for it, because it's better than nothing, is if you go for it like that. Come on. Where's that Firo at? No, that's a Spiro. Oh, here we go! Yes! Awesome! I was about to give up, too. We're gonna have to do everything we can to catch you, because you're gonna be tough. You've got a wild Firo. How cool is this? Go ahead and throw out that Nana Berry. Our last berry that we can really properly use here. There we go. Get ready. Now, what? Over the, What are you doing? No, 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 no! What the heck, game? I'm so done with this motion control stuff. So done with it. So done with it. Come on, please. Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky. It's gonna hop out, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's cause I didn't believe. So close, you almost got it. Oh, come on! Now, I know it's not the perfect throw, but I just, I need to actually get it into the Pokeball and see if it'll work, because it's gonna run away soon. Come on, come on. So close, you almost got it. It just charged forward, so we can, if, I, I, that was definitely a little bit of a delay for that one. Come on. Uh, it just seems like you almost had it. Now, what was that? Wow, like sometimes you can control the height of the throw and sometimes like you totally can't. So it's just really bizarre. Come on, Firo, work with me here. You do not want to be caught. Do not run away though, please just don't run away. Okay, that time I could actually throw a Pokeball at you. What was that? What in the world? That was so unfair. That's like, it feels like there's this thing going on that like, not only are the Pokemon more difficult to catch, but literally the, the motion controls get worse for some reason. Because I've been doing everything I've been doing normally. Here's an arena, so we'll at least get this. But then all of a sudden it just doesn't work anymore. Instead we're throwing it super high in the air. Like we're going for a slam dunk or something, I don't understand. See, like now it's working perfectly fine again. What total baloney. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if we can't get a first catch on that arena. Of course we can't. Man, I'm a little upset by that, to say the least. I really wanted the Firo. Two excellent throws in a row, like it was nothing. There we go, second throw is pretty good. All right, Nidorino, I've got you. Like maybe we can get lucky and run into a Firo. 587 experience. Wow, we Eve the level 28. Tonk the level 21, and Fred the level 23. Three level ups just from one catch. Like that's why it's, it's so much fun to catch Pokemon because you get so much experience for it too. So Nidorino, its horns contain venom. If it stabs an enemy with the horn, the impact makes the poison leak out. Wow, they are so dangerous. There's like everybody, not just all the Pokemon. Come on, one more Firo for the road. You can do it, game, right? Please, give me a second chance here. We all deserve second chances. Especially when the game's, okay, I, I got so close. I gotta do one more try. And then, wait, what, what's happening? Are you cheering me on? Eve seems filled with determination. Cool, not really what I meant to do. Do we have a lore going on or no? I don't know. I mean, one of them showed up without a lore. It just doesn't seem to be as common. We just got really lucky, but also unlucky because we weren't actually over there. Nobody run into me, I'm busy. Maybe some of these guys will start disappearing soon enough. I just leave them be. Yeah, that Rattata just disappeared. More Nidorinas. Come on, Firo, come on. One more time. Just give me one more chance. One more chance, that's all I need. I don't know if the lures are time-based, because I know in the other Pokemon games they're based on how many times you move around, but obviously in this game, the Pokemon sort of do the moving for you. It's a lot cooler, to be honest. Come on, Firo, where are you? I don't know if I actually did set up the next lore. Okay, there it goes. No, I'm done. I tried my absolute best. I'm just gonna have to evolve a Spiro, which is, isn't nearly exciting, you know? Or nearly as exciting. Okay, well, we'll keep going until we reach that dark cave, and that's probably where I'll finish things off for today. Which way can we go? I and mean, maybe going down this way is a smart idea, maybe it's not. Is this just a dead end? I really don't know. I can battle you, though? Ha ha ha, bring it on! Oh, I will, all right. Because I'm I'm angry now. But I wasn't able to catch my Firo, no matter how hard I tried. Hiker Allen. Hiker Allen sent out Geodude. Let's see what you got. So Eve, honestly, isn't gonna do the best against Geodude. I, once again, I should've changed my Pokemon around. Fight and double kick. Maybe double kick would just be enough to take you down because it is fighting, which is good against rock. 
did some decent damage, but not quite enough to get you down. It's effective at two times. Stealth Rock. So that's a rock type, not a ground type, right? I don't know. Oh my. Oh, you know what? That's gonna hurt whoever Pokemon I take out next, which is a shame, but it'll be fine, because it'll be a water type. I wanna bring out Tonka. Got it. All right, so Geodude's down. You're probably gonna bring out another ground rock something type. Hit one time, Geodude fainted. 131 experience, and Geodude again. So I'm definitely going to switch into Tonka, which Tonka's actually pretty low right now, so maybe this is a bad idea, but we'll try it. Come on, Tonka, you can do it. Run away! Yeah, Tonka looks ready. Now it's not Geodude. Oh, man. Point and Sing's yeah, dug into Tonka, unfortunately. But now if we use Water Gun, this might be enough to just, ooh, yeah, one hit takedown, that's all I wanted. Perfect stuff to see there. 109 experience. Geodude again, three Geodudes, not a problem. Yeah, I didn't want to switch Pokemon, didn't mean to do this. Go back, and let's see what happens. Come on, come on. I mean, we're one level below them, but I don't think that matters too much here. While you're using, okay, Bide is actually going to be great for us because we might be able to just take you down right here. We will, awesome stuff. So that was very, very good, 109 experience. I don't think anybody's gonna get a level up, but we defeated Hiker Allen. Ha 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 ha, you beat me fair. I bet, you bet I did. Okay, so what else do we got going on around here? Nothing, this is just a dead end. Ha 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 ha, us hardy hikers always laugh, even when we lose. Huh, all right. Yeah, no Pokeballs back here, it's just sort of a dead end, weird. And it might be an easy way to escape if you just need to get out of here. But okay, we have a little bit more left to do before we're done. I want to take on more trainers, like we got this uh, camper over this way. Let's see what you have to say. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to Lavender Town. Yeah, me too, once I get there. But for now, all I gotta worry about is taking you down. Make sure I get there first, I suppose. All right, you're challenged by Camper Drew. Camper Drew sent out Sandshrew. I really should just change over to the, you know. I could try double kick. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know if they're, they're even, cause I think, isn't there a sand type as well? No, there's not, there's just ground type, I think. I don't know. Move over to Tonka. We'll see how this works. I'll probably have to heal Tonka, put Tonka out in front, and then we'll work from there. Okay, Tonka, you can do it. You sand attack, which will lower our accuracy. Yep, not a problem. Because we should still be able to land the water gun, right? I hope so. Yes, we will. Ooh, almost taking it down. So it looks like this guy's gonna do the same sort of strategy a lot of people with Sandshrew do, which is lower the accuracy a bunch. We've seen other trainers do this, and then just hope that they miss, like that. All right, you're not gonna do Fury Swipes. Please just not do 19 damage. Oh no, hit three times. Come on, we need to land this one. Either that or Tonka's down. Come on. Good job, Tonka. I knew I could believe in you. Okay, so who is it next? It is... Come on, come on. Raticate. Okay, I can switch to anything else then. We're gonna switch Pokemon, and I think I will go with Lily. That should be pretty effective. Come on, Lily, you can do it. Tonka, switch out with Lily. Okay, so Lily should be fine here. We can just do Swift over and over again until it's taken down. I'll be fine. Fight, Swift. Okay, Lily is Swift. Excellent stuff. Not really the most effective thing. How effective is Crunch? Oh, Crunch hurts a little bit, but we have five levels on him, so we should just be able to do relatively fine. Okay, using quick attack. Ooh, we use Swift. All right, well, we're bringing it to him. It's just sort of a slowly but surely kind of thing. It's still worth doing. Oh, nice, so we were able to positively make it so that they dodge that. Ooh, that was pretty good. That wasn't a critical though, weird. Okay, let's do pound. Quick attack again. It really isn't doing much though, so I'm not too worried. And boom, finish you off. How awesome is that? So we did excellent. We got 300 experience. Everybody else got some stuff. Charlotte, level 25. Kobe, level 20. Awesome. You beat Camper Drew. You can't, you can't measure up. Oh my gosh, we got two great balls for it. Awesome, so I think we're good to go. We can keep moving forward. Well, let's talk to you first. Are you off to the Rock Tunnel too? Yes, we are. 
So before we do move to the rock tunnel, I want to get this Pokeball. I don't know. I think the Pokeball might be... Or not the Pokeball. The rock tunnel might be to the left. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a moment. But hey, let's go to our team. Pikachu just doesn't seem like a good idea to keep out right now compared to some other ones. So we'll just move Tonka out. I will move to our bag. I will go to our... Not our Pokemon box. Our medicine pocket. And see what we can do from there. We can do Super Potion. Use this item. Tonka. And... Kobe should be the only two that really need it, you know? Probably should use it the rest of my normal potions first, but hey, that works just fine too. Okay, so we got this trainer. Hi, who are you? That's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. Thank you. Oh, and there's another little patch of grass over this way. So this was just sort of a dead end, but worth doing for sure. We might run into another Fero. Youngster Chris. Youngster Chris sent out Diglett. Okay, we should have another Diglett no problem with Tonka. Let's get to it. Let's just use Water Gun right away. So let's just fight and water gun. Oh, you're gonna use growl. Because I think water is also good against ground as, as well as rock, because I know rock and ground are two different things. Water gun. Whoa, one hit takedown. Very good. I feel like Tonka does definitely have some strong hits against people so far. About, oh, Firo, come on. You're just showing off now. Okay, let's move over to Eve then. Eve will be good because of course it's a bird type. And I don't know if Zippy Zap works against flying people, just because you know, you're know sort of charging on the floor. I think it's gonna be fine. Ah, man, cool looking Pokemon though, for, for sure. Okay, Zippy Zap, let's try it. Let's try for that one hit takedown. I think it'll work. Yeah, that was super easy. They didn't even have the time to attack either times. All right, well, Firo's down, which means we should be getting a lot of experience for that one, 308. Very nice. Out like a light. 400 towers, three Pokeballs, pretty good. Okay, so what do you have to say about that? I'm so frustrated I can, can't even cry, I'm sorry. Sort of you know, the way of life of a Pokemon trainer, but I get it can be tough. What is going on this way? Not too much, we just sort of have to hope that some cool stuff pops up in this grass. I feel like I should use a lure here or something. There's like nothing popping up for right now. Okay, so Rattata popped up. Not really what I'm looking for though. Come on, anything else? There has to be something cool that'll pop up in this little patch, right? Which is so to the side. There's an arena, which is pretty cool to pop up without a lore. Hmm. I'm always so tempted to find just more new stuff. So, Raticate. I don't know, should I use a lore or should I just wait it out? I really want to get that Fero without having to evolve a Spiro, but it might just, oh wow, you guys are just all over the place. Fine, I'll catch an in arena. These can be good. They're such a pain in the butt to catch, especially when the motion controls just aren't that great. Wow, that was decent. Usually I don't, the angle throws are really tough. I mean, I'm playing with hooves here. You gotta give me some slack. And I mean, I don't know, I'm not always a big fan of motion controls. I've voiced my opinion on them plenty of times in the past. I think that motion controls can be fine if there's an alternative in this game. I don't think there is, so I don't like that very much. But we got a level up for Tonka and Lily. Tonka level 22, and Lily is level 27. How crazy is that? We're really getting a high up there in the levels. I like it. So we know about Nidorina, so we can just put it away in the Pokemon box. And look for more Pokemon. There's a Spearow. I didn't even mean to run into the Raticate, but sure, why not? Okay, so Wild Raticate, get ready. I'm just gonna try catching you right away. See if that's any bit of a problem. Raticate seems pretty easy, so I don't think so. Come on. Ah, darn it. Get ready. Now. Oh, that was almost an excellent throw. It was a little bit sooner. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that was not bad. 195 experience, not enough for a level up for anybody, but it's, just, it's definitely the quickest way to get level ups and experience is to catch Pokemon, for sure. Okay, so we got more Pokemon hanging out, but not anything too crazy. I'm gonna give it another couple of seconds to see if there's anything cool that pops up. Let's knit around again. Not what I'm looking for, though. Come on, not Rod. Definitely not a Rodita. I'm done with the Rodita's. We've gotten too many of these guys in our lifetime. Five, four, three, two, one. I think I'm gonna leave. Whoa. Okay. Well, Chansey's pretty cool. Chansey's not something we've seen too often. All right. Ready? Boom. Not a bad throw, though, too, to start things off. We've caught a Chansey in the past, but I don't think this is gonna be too bad to grab another one because we only have one of them. Wow, darn it, that was a bad throw. Just through and through, bad throw. Come on, oh. 
Get ready. And throw. Oh, oh, whoa, where was, where was that going? Oh, we're almost out of uh, great balls here. I'm gonna have to be, come on. <laughs> uh, there, there we go. There really is some like nuance to it that I don't really appreciate too much sometimes because it's just, there's no visual feedback on how you're throwing it is gonna affect things. Like it's just weird. What we call it a chancy? And it'll be 200 experience, right? No, oh, 700 experience, wow! Why 700? Eve to level 29, Wowie, Fred to level 24, and Kobe to level 21. I am blown away with how much progress we're doing here. Kobe wants to learn low kick, which I think is a fighting type move, which we really need more of. Low kick, a powerful low kick that takes that makes the target fall over. The heavier the target, the greater the move's power. Absolutely, I wanna keep that. So I think we'll put that over either taunt or focus energy. Uh, or oh, what was taunt? The target is taunted to a rage and allows. No, I think that's fine. We, we can go ahead and put over taunt, I think. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Uh, like, you know, what can I do? Oh well. So, uh, hmm. So should I keep looking? Oh, well Radata is not gonna make sure I don't. <laughs> Radata just charged me there. Okay, Radata, you know I should not be using a Great Ball for you. You're a Radata. I definitely need to buy a lot of Great Balls sooner or later, but for right now, boom. Great throw, pretty good, right? Pretty good. Come on now. Ah, not quite, not quite. Almost got it. That was great. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I don't know why I'm putting so much energy in trying to catch Radata, but I am. We got a Chansey, no Fero, 77 experience is pretty good. Oh, Charlotte levels up again, level 26. I don't know when she's gonna be evolving. I, I don't know if it's soon or not. Right now we got Radata. And we are good to keep moving forward. I'm done with you guys. I'll wait right here for just a second to see if anything must have pops up. But I don't think it is. All right, see ya. Okay, well that was pretty fun. I'm gonna keep trucking on this way so that we can battle however many trainers we have to do before we get to the cave, and then we'll enter it from there. Ha 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 ha, aren't you a little toughy? Or maybe we'll just stop with this karate trainer. After this, we'll be done. This guy should have fighting types then, right? You were challenged by Black Belt Rice, or Bryce, not Rice. He sent out Mankey. Oh cool, we have a Mankey too. I don't really know what would be good against you. I think we're just gonna use Tonka and see how things end up working out. Come on, Tonka. Are you still at full health? You are, how awesome. We will use Water Gun. And we are a level lower than you, but I think that we'll be fine with this. Ooh, that hurts though, that really hurts. Use Water Gun again, maybe we can get a lucky critical sooner or later. Karate Chop, at this rate, I think he'll be able to beat us just because of his level advantage. I don't know if I should be doing this right now. Water Gun, come on, critical! Oh, so close, Karate Chop, this might be the end for Tonka. No! Oh boy, that's close. If we, wait, 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 what was that? Look at the controller. What is Pikachu doing? Eve support. What? Hey, cool. Tonka's attack rose. Defense rose, special attack, special defense, speed. No, wait, that counts as a move though? Come on, you fooled me. That's so uncool. I would have been fine if I just said water gun. Oh my gosh, come on, Pikachu. What's your dealio? <laughs> okay, just hit him once. I would have just been fine if we just did the normal move. I didn't realize that counted as an actual move. Jeez Louise, get out of here, Mankey. You fainted. Is that the only Pokemon this guy has or does he have another one? I don't know. Oh, that was it. What? Yep, we got you. Three Pokeballs for that. So I might actually run back and heal up our Pokemon and then I think we'll be done for today's episode. Ha 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 ha, kids should be tough. Well, we are, that's for sure. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back down this way. We already walked past the guy that we need to battle. So I can just walk down this way and not have to worry about it. And we are just going to charge off to heal our Pokemon and then we'll enter that new area in the next episode. Lots of work done today. We defeated the gym leader, which is sort of the most important thing for me. Wait, can I? Oh, I gotta go around the long way. Gosh darn it, I'm such a dingus. Okay, so I'm back here healing the Pokemon and that's where we'll wrap it up for this. Let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center do that, but yeah, I've been so happy with how fast our Pokemon have been leveling up. Just catching Pokemon has been a lot of fun as well. So yeah, there we go. I like how only one Pokemon 
who's caught with a great ball in our team. I mean, I guess most of them weren't even caught. They were traded with, and that probably is why. Hope to see you again, you too. And with that being said, I think that will wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Electric Zebra, so you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.